ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Oh wait, is my camera adjusted properly? I think that's actually a good, uh, a good centered camera. Solid. Guys, welcome to episode 45, I think, of this uh, series. We are so back. We're ready to rock and roll today. Um, okay, we're so back. Guys, it's episode 45. I had food poisoning. <laughs> yeah, that's the highlight of today's video. Uh, I had food poisoning. So we're, we're so back. Um, we're recording today. I need to get my mouse pad adjusted and ready to rock and roll. Um, I have three monitors now, guys. It's pretty sick. Three monitors has never been so sick before until today. I've never had three monitors, and we have it now, and it's pretty cool. We also, we have a rack of 3070s, sponsored by Craze Gunner and by Lemons Beast, hooking me up with the 3070s, pretty hype. Uh, that'll help a lot with crypto um, compared to my 3060s, so that's really cool. Really hyped about that. Um, but guys, basically... We're, we're ready to rock and roll. Um, we're mining today. Not for very long. Uh, we're just trying to keep the episode streak alive. We're trying to keep it going. We're on episode 45. It's vital. Uh, I think what I need to do is turn down my Minecraft sound. That's going to be essential. I think, what is my volume sound? Let's see. What is my volume like? Oh. That's gross. There we go. Let's try that. That's better. Alright. Well, I think we're ready to rock and roll now. Yeah. So I have three monitors now. So you might, you might see me look left, center, and right. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Um... <laughs> But yeah, guys, so basically I've, I've been making some shorts on the server. Um, I've been doing like a day series of like, you know, day one of playing Trapped MC sort of thing. And one of the shorts got like 10,000 views. I made like $2 from that one short from the 10,000 views. That was kind of cool. Um, it's kind of cool seeing a short get more than like four or five thousand views because that's like the threshold of like okay if you get stuck at four or five thousand views then you're you know then it's a content issue most likely just because the retention wasn't good enough and the pre-testing and stuff like that but i had one get ten thousand views that was kind of cool uh you know more people are joining the server uh which is good to see um but yeah anyways Within the server, or on the server, Lemon's Beast is P20. Very cool stuff. Um, Crazy Gunner, I think, is P11 now, maybe? P10? Um, I am still P4. <laughs> yeah. We got work to do. But I just haven't had much time, you know, to play. But that's okay. You know. We had food poisoning, though. That's the highlight of today's video. I had tacos at this one local taco place, and man, those tacos did not serve me well. No. Not at all. But that's okay. We'll survive. We, we did survive the, the taco attack. God willing, we'll keep surviving the taco attacks until, until we age like fine wine. Like I said, God willing, you know. Uh... But, it's interesting because, I don't know, one, one thing that I want to talk about today, I, I was just prompted to talk about, is <clears throat> my sermon that I had on Sunday. Yeah. It talked about how we make plans as humans. We're very, you know, we like to live our lives organized, which, you know, we, we plan out our days, our weeks, our months, our years. We plan out our lives to so many degrees. We make plans for the future. And yet, we're not even guaranteed tomorrow. Now think about that for a moment. 
if we're not guaranteed tomorrow, why are we making plans for next week or the week after? Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't be making plans, but I am encouraging you to think about this more critically. When you do make plans, that you should include in your prayers, like, God, I have a vacation going on a month from now. It's something I'm really looking forward to, etc., etc. And God willing, I'll be able to go on that vacation. Because not only do you not know if that month will ever come, you can't even say it's likely that the month will come. Because you just don't know. Only God knows. Right? So it's interesting. Really interesting stuff. So, I encourage you that when you make your plans, you think about that more critically. And include the fact of the matter that God will... He's the only one that knows if that day will come. Because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. Every day is a gift. Right? So, it's important to think about that when you plan out your lives. Like, if you're planning just even something small for next week. You know, it's like, you don't know if that will ever come. It might be something that you're looking forward to or, or that you're even dreading. But say it's something you're dreading. Say you have a dentist appointment, for example, and you know you have a cavity and you have to get your teeth, like, drilled or something. And you, they have to fix your teeth. Like, you don't even know if that's going to happen next week. And it's like, you might be dreading something, right? But think about all the other things that would happen if that day were to come. You know, you'd be able to enjoy the other things in your life if that day were to come where <clears throat> where you got your teeth drilled, for example. So what I'm trying to say is, yes, make plans. Plan for the future. It's important that you do to stay organized and to successfully plan out your next move, your next trip, your next day, but you're not guaranteed that next day. So every day you should be thankful. Every day you should give thanks to God for that day, for today, because tomorrow may not come. Only God controls whether the earth keeps spinning around the sun and whether we will be able to still breathe oxygen tomorrow if God wants to he could have us all perish but the good news is Jesus is coming back that's the good news and if you aren't familiar with Jesus I highly encourage you to listen to me for one minute. You see, we live in a broken world. We live in a broken world. We are all sinners. What is a sinner, you might ask? Well, a sinner is someone who separates himself from God. You see, God created us thousands of years ago. Not millions, but the Bible says thousands of years ago. And in this world, we were given a bunch of, you know, commands that God wanted us to fulfill. God wanted us to fulfill these commands that he gave us. But you see, there was this guy named Adam, right? Adam basically broke a command that God gave him. And that separated him from God, and that's where sin entered the world, right? And because sin entered the world, the offspring of Adam and Eve, all, every single person born of the flesh after Adam and Eve is also a sinner by simply being born. But there's one exception to that. And that's Jesus Christ, 
because Jesus was born of a virgin, a virgin Mary. You see, Jesus was born by the Holy Spirit and not by the flesh. Jesus is the only person on this earth to be born from a virgin. And that's what makes Jesus not a sinner at birth. So you see, with that being said, Jesus lived a perfect life. Jesus lived this life that was perfect. He never sinned, not even once. And then what he did is... He died the death that you and I deserved to die. You see, we separate ourselves from God every day. We sin every single day. Jesus never sinned once. But what Jesus did is he was like, Hey fam, I'm going to die on this cross. I'm going to die for your sins. I'm going to die in the place that you should die. And because Jesus died for us, God's judgment judged Jesus on the cross. And since Jesus was a perfect human, we have the opportunity to live a life today that, you know, it's a new life. We can reconnect with God because Jesus gave us a new life when he died and resurrected. Because, you see, Jesus' resurrection proves to us that new life exists. If Jesus died and didn't come back to life three days later, then it'd be a different story. But Jesus did, did resurrect three days later and brought hope to this entire world because we have the opportunity to reconnect with God and live a new life in the new covenant and it's really cool because I'm blessed to be able to just sit here playing Minecraft talking about the gospel the gospel is simply the good news and the good news is Jesus Christ died for your sins therefore in order to be saved, in order to live a life connected with God, the only way that you can connect with God and, and live with God forever and live a, a life worth living in heaven is through Jesus Christ and believing and having faith that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior. He died for your sins. You see, we were all sinners. We were all... We were all done for without Jesus. You see, when Jesus came along, this gave people the opportunity to reconnect with God and go to heaven. You see, we were, we were in deep need of a Savior, all of us, every single one of us. We were all broken and we we are all still sinners today but the good news is ju God judges us based on Jesus's life because Jesus gave his own life on the cross and God judged Jesus and since Jesus was perfect he was a perfect human you know Jesus basically took our place my pastor relates it to a test, like a, a test um, that you would take in school, where you, you take a test, you know, you and I take a test. We didn't study for this test. We have absolutely no idea what we're doing. We're going to get, like, you know, basically zeros on this test. But before we go and turn in our tests, Jesus Christ is also taking that test, and he... He studied, he prepared, he's going to get a perfect score on this test. But what he does is pretty remarkable. Before he goes to turn in his test, he comes up to us and basically puts his test in front of me, he puts his test in front of you, 
And, you know, he puts his name on the tests that we were taking. And he put our names on his test. So therefore, when God, who represents the teacher in this scenario, grades the tests, God sees us with the perfect tests. And God sees Jesus with our names and the non-perfect tests. You see, Jesus died the death that we deserved to die. Jesus took our spot on the cross so that we would have the opportunity to reconnect with God and live a life that, you know, so we could have the opportunity to go to heaven and, and live with God for eternity. So I know this was longer than one minute, like I promised, but it takes more than a minute for me to share the good news of Jesus Christ. And I'm not the best storyteller, but I think you get the point. And if you don't get the point, maybe do your own research. Maybe look up the good news of Jesus online. Or better yet, maybe read some scripture in the Bible where you can truly get to know the word of Christ. The Bible is always your best bet when it comes to learning more about who God is and who Jesus is. So I highly recommend you give it a try. Go read the Bible. I recommend starting in the book of John, the Gospel of John. It's near the back of the, uh, the Bible. You might be wondering, why start from the back of the Bible? Well, that's for another video. Start with the book of John. Get to know who Jesus Christ is. It will truly change your life forever. With that being said, that's going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.